Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Shiva Barwaj. I'm the founder and CEO of Kitstop. And what we do is we've built a mobility platform that collects data from the automotive industry, applies proprietary analysis on top of this data set, and then ultimately we predict component failures um, for a number of customers in this segment. And I guess the, the genesis of, of building this software really is rooted in um, the fact that vehicles have gotten very complicated over the past 20 years or so, where we're now sitting at over 100 million lines of code in the average vehicle with well over 3,000 parts on, on a vehicle. And if you compare the, the, the stats with companies like Facebook, Facebook has about 100 million lines of code. And we're talking about every, every new car that's in the luxury category is kind of comparable to the amount of lines of code in Facebook. So you can imagine a number of complexity issues um, that not one individual can ever figure out and, and repair and fix. And it's proven in, in the stats that it leads to billions of dollars in costs uh, behind recalls, warranty claims, and just overall customer satisfaction of trust um, when they're on the road. A ton of people uh, today do not necessarily trust their service providers as a result of this complexity and not really understanding why their vehicle is undergoing certain issues. And the best part about this is when Frost and Sullivan did a, um, a study, they found that the top 300 fleets in North America, 98% of them said on top of their telematics and connected car features, the number one feature they want is predictive maintenance and vehicle prognostics. And they'd be willing to pay 10 to $20 a month to get access to, to this type of software. So on one side, there's a huge industry problem that's leading to billions of dollars in costs. And on the other side, there's a demand from the actual vehicle owners uh, to pay for a service like this. And that's really what the opportunity is. The reason it hasn't been solved so far is because the supply chain is extremely fragmented. When you look at your vehicle and you experience an issue on your vehicle, you then have to manually go in for repair. When you do do that, that service center, the technician is trying to replicate the issues you're experiencing on the road and they use their tools and their experience to then decide what parts to order. The parts distributor trusts the service center and just ships parts uh, to these service centers without really understanding why or how they came up with that diagnosis. And then you go back all the way up to the supplier of the part in the OEM, who's then looking at their numbers and wondering why in the month of February we sold more fuel pumps. It, there's no in, in a specific region. It's because this whole supply chain works with each other in a very transactional basis. And what we're doing at Pit Stop is we built a data platform that harnesses information from the entire supply chain to make it an intelligent ecosystem so then you can predict failures and run your businesses more efficiently. That's ultimately what our platform is doing. Where we fit into this ecosystem is we're a software platform that plugs into telematic systems uh, that exist today on the road. So from the customers that we work with today, uh, we span well over 2 million vehicles that are on the road today. And we can scale our platform across that vehicle set. We work with insurance companies, tier one suppliers, and global service chains uh, to capture information from the field. We then take this information, apply our proprietary algorithms, and we can do things such as predict exactly when batteries will fail, when engines will come to a point where there's major timing issues. Uh, we can do, we have a, a list of uh, about 300 different failures that our system can predict. And, and then our customers consume these insights through our dashboards, mobile applications, or our APIs if they want to take these insights and put it into products that they're building. And, and this information and these algorithms have been built across uh, analyzing well over 160,000 vehicles that have been connected on the road, streaming data to our servers. Um, and from this, we've spanned about uh, a handful of proprietary algorithms that are undergoing IP protection right now. We've gone past the provisional patent phase and, and now going into the full patent applications. We've uh, established contracts, which I'll get into shortly, with some of the largest telematics 
uh, service networks and tier one suppliers in the world. Well, ultimately what we're doing is we're taking information that is largely uncleaned, unstructured, putting structure into it, plus adding proprietary insights and algorithms to ultimately predict issues and failures. I'm going to go through a case study that we were able to successfully um, uh, demonstrate uh, back in 2017, which was we took um, in the range of 2,000 vehicles of a specific make model year. These were brand new vehicles. We had those vehicles stream data to our platform. Um, our platform detected an anomaly amongst 15% of these vehicles, which had to do with the transmission being delayed in shifting. Uh, we d from this, we sent a report to this OEM and NHTSA, and, and nine months after our report was issued, um, a recall was then broadcasted globally. Had that, had that OEM issued a recall around the time that we suggested this, the, uh, the report, it would have reduced the cost of that recall by up to about $25 million. So that's the impact of this type of analytics. This is one use case out of many that we've already been able to demonstrate in the market. Um, so, so a lot of people then ask about, well, I, I hear about mobility and data platforms uh, a lot, and there's many companies working on it. What really sets us apart is our ability to predict failures from this data and then monetize that data set to drive business decisions in near real time. And, and it makes us much more cooperative with the entire ecosystem rather than competitive. So many of the companies I have here listed are actually partners of us that share data with us and are looking at ways of leveraging our insights to add into their platforms. Because it's such an early market that's growing, there's a lot of space and opportunity uh, to really have a major impact. And, and it shows as we've secured, um, now it's actually five uh, contracts with large enterprise organizations that are using our software and distributing it across their network. And we're generating a monthly subscription fee per vehicle uh, to gain access uh, uh, to, to their vehicle fleet and provide them these insights, as well as there's upfront engineering integration fees that we charge our customers. From, yeah. Okay, great, yeah. So I guess in the next year, we're on our way to securing over 150,000 vehicles. Uh, we have a phenomenal team um, with representation in, in Michigan for our sales team, as well as a very strong engineering team based out of Toronto. And we have a great set of uh, advisors, including Nick from OnStar, Greg, who used to be at Volkswagen, uh, and Andrew Harrison, who used to be at Solera. And we're really here to disrupt the auto industry, we're going to be an integral part of, of this future. 